everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Vokis it is a wonderful day so you're welcome to my channel if this is your first time and please make sure you subscribe and tap on the notification bell to get notified each time we put up a video you can follow me on Instagram the key signatures and on Facebook sewing innovations so today's tutorial will be on how to make a hair bonnet wrap so it's like a two-in-one video if you want just the hair bonnet you can have that if you want the hair bonnet wrap you can have that and you could even have the two you could always manipulate it each time you want to use either of the two which i will show you step by step on how to make it i have this material here it's so beautiful and it's going to come out nice for the hair bonnet why this either of these two certain will be the lining so it's like a reversible bonnet so you can use any of the sides so now let's get started this is my fabric and all I did was to cut out a yard because I have six yards of fabric so I just have to cut out one yard because one yard is enough for you to make this hair bonnet wrap. And from the uh, one yard, the first thing you are going to do is to cut out the belt for the wrap as you can see. So how did I cut this hole? First, African print fabric comes by 45 but mostly the good ones the high quality one comes by 46 i've noticed that so here i have 46 inches so good now for this belt the minimum you could do is three inches but remember you are going to need half an inch to sew it up so that makes it three and a half so that three and a half is going to be doubled which means you have to cut out seven so what you have to do is to fold your fabric just fold it this way just want to clean that. So you fold three and a half inches. So that I just cut the seven inches all at once. So make sure it is just three inches, three and a half, sorry. Okay, good. Here I have three and a half inches. So you make sure you measure it all down. Then you just cut it off. So that means you cut out seven inches, but three and a half inches on fold by 46 inches then you are going to cut out two so that was what i did with this belt for the wrap can you see so it is by 46 then i have three and half then i cut out two so that means the belt for the wrap is ready so the next thing now is to cut the hair bonnet leftover fabric i have i'm just going to fold it into two as you can see that from the one yard i cut out after removing the belt for the wrap after that, will I fold again? You just fold the same way you fold for a full circle because we are cutting out a full circle. So now, to determine the wideness of the bonnet you want for yourself, it depends on the type of hair you have on, the volume of your hair, so that would determine. But between 11 to 14 is fine. For a hair bonnet, is just fine. So you can determine that now after folding it into two i will just make it between 13 and 14. use of 13 to 14 inches for myself but on the average the minimum 11 inches to 12 is perfect so irrespective of the volume of your hair 11 inches is okay but for me i'll just make use of 13 inches because of the elastic i'm using i'm making use of one inch elastic so that's why I'll just make use of 13. Place your measuring tape at the edge of the fabric here and then just mark 13 inches all through. Make sure the measuring tape is always at the edge to have it even. I've marked the 13 inches all around, as you can see. So if you want 14, you mark it the same way all around. That's good. So the next thing is for me to cut it out. Can 
can see this is it so this is the white area of the bonnet so the next thing now i'm going to use this as a template to cut out the satin placed the main fabric on the satin as you can see and i've clipped it down this would have been the best choice but it's just too flashy for me but that would have been the best option so i decided to go for this so i'm gonna cut it out get your sewing machine ready the right side is going to be facing the right side of the main fabric as you can see this is quite wide so you need to get your sewing machine ready at this stage you can see everything is just even the first thing I'm going to do now is to just take half an inch all through start from just get a starting point you should make sure you clip everything before sewing. Get the starting point half an inch and sew all around. Then coming back here, you have to leave like two inches for us to bring out. I've sewn it all around as you can see and I left two inches to three inches open here. So on the right side, this is what it looks like. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to notch all around before bringing it out. So I'm going to notch it. How do you notch this way? I've notched it all around and on the right side so you can see that so the next thing now is for me to remove it all out just do that gently you don't want to be rough with your fabrics So after bringing it all out, this is what I have. Then I'll have to give it a good press to make it all laid. I've given it a thorough press, as you can see that it's okay now. So I'm making use of one inch elastic band, as you can see. But you can also use that of half inch. It is not compulsory. You must use one inch. So since I'm using one inch, I'm going to be marking one and quarter. Why? Because that quarter inch will serve as ease for the elastic to move freely around the bonnet. So all you have to do is to take your measuring tape and mark it all around. You could eyeball it, though I'm going to eyeball it. But just mark it to make it easier for you. So I'm going to take to my same machine to sew one and quarter all around. Here, yeah, I'm making use of a one inch elastic band, as I've said, and I already have the one I'll use cut out. I did, how did I get this? I just place it all around my hair. If you are using this type of elastic, don't pull it too much. Don't pull at all because when it's too tight, you feel uncomfortable. Just pull it over your head, and after that, you just had extra one inch to overlap and close it up. So that's what I did. But if you are using the other half an inch one, that stretches easily and doesn't make you uncomfortable. But I'm making use of this. Let me measure it so that you can have an idea. So on the average, it should work for everybody. So here I have 24. So the elastic I'm making use of is 24. 24 inches. So now this is the opening we left initially as you can see because the second circle we seamed off was all closed so we only have this part open so i'm going to pass the elastic thread through that point Keep passing it all around. So 
So you can see that. So what I'll do now is to close it up because you don't want the elastic going back. This type of elastic is quite thick. So this is what I have now. So to confirm if the elastic is okay or too much, you can just place it over your head to check. But I think I'm okay with this. Right now I'll take my sewing machine to now do what? To close it up. How do I close up the elastic? You change your stitch to a zigzag stitch. So you could just run about two. One, two. Or you overlap it this way. Can you see that you run into one, two? So I'm going to do that. Right now I've sewn it. Can you see the way I sewed up the elastic? So there's no way it's going to come off. So now this is what we have. So before I adjust it fully, now I'll now have to go and close this plate point up. So I already folded a crease there. So I'm just going to take it, join it together gently. Can you see? And I'm going to sew very close to the hem all through so you can just pin it down. Pull the elastic so that it's going to be straight. Can you see? I'm just going to sew very close to the edge to close it up. So this aside, going over to the belt now, I have to strip of fabric here. So what I'm going to do is to open one edge is on the right side. So this is the wrong side, so you make sure the right side are facing each other. As you can see, then I'm just going to sew up half an inch to join the strip of fabric together. Then the other end now that we are left with, make sure the folded edge matches each other. Place it on top of each other. Take your measuring tape and measure in two inches to two and a half. And you connect it to the end. That's where you're going to have, or if you want two and a half, you connect it straight down here. So either of the two, and I can cut it off. Let me just close up the cap and this very well. Right now I've closed this up. As you can see, make sure you use a matching thread. So after that, you can now adjust it evenly. You adjust the heart evenly. So now this is what I have. So you can see it's just on the average, very nice, except you want something bigger. But I think the size on the average is just okay, as you can see that. So the next thing now is to the belt for the wrap. I've joined it in the middle, as you can see, on the wrong side. What I'll now have to do now is to fold all the belt on the... What I'll do now is to fold the belt on the wrong side. As you can see, always open your seam. Going to do now starting from one edge i'm going to close up from here straight down half an inch as we left it all down then i'm going to stop like one and a half to two one and a half is okay inches before this midpoint whereby we joined then i'm going to start all the way from here to and stop one and a half inches here so that i can bring out all the belt from this very place before closing it I've sewn everything all up now, starting from the curve. Let me see. 
hold on half an inch till the middle so at the middle now i have this opening about three inches so from here now i'm going to bring out all these straps i'm going to bring them out right now i've sewn up the belt i've brought it all out from that point so i still have this point open but i'm pressing the same allowance so what i'll do again is to just close this up as you can see so now back to the hat so for your bonnet now if you just want the reversible air bonnet you have this so you can either use it that way or this way as you can see that all well and good but there is another type of hair bonnet with facing what do i mean by that you have part of this fabric showing on the inside so when you put it on this way you have the african print fabric showing here as the facing so like we took one and quarter inch seam allowance for the elastic so we do, the amount of fabric showing here will be one and in, one and half one and quarter yeah one and quarter inches here so that's the hair bonnet with facing if you want me to make a tutorial on that just comment below and i will see what the comments are like so if you want your reversible hat you have it now but i want my own weight wrap especially for you that don't know how to tie your scarves or gaily this is a good idea so i haven't closed up this side i'm now going to go to the part whereby i sewed up the the opening we left so there just try to open it or stretch it out this way then take the the belt making sure this part is facing you let me see that making sure the part is facing you because this will make a great difference when you are tying it especially if you want a bow attached to it so now just going to open that up so you place it there can you see after stretching it out so just place it here can you see make sure it is here yeah, the head doesn't match with this make sure it comes out a little bit just look at that you see so i still have some excess here because this wrap is going to be covering all this elastic area so that was why i made it come out a little bit as you've seen it so i'm going to take the sewing machine to just tack it down now i've attached it as you can see here so on the inside this is what i have so you can see the belt so there are two things <laughs> what i was talking about then can you see how it looks can you see the way the curve is so this very one is towards the outside and this goes inward because it makes a lot of difference especially when you are tiny go so let me stretch it out again can you see that uh -huh. now there's another option if you want to make it a multi-purpose hat all you have to do is this instead of just tacking it down just get a pressing button place one on this very one place one on this like two one two then you just press it up but if you don't want the wrap you can make use of it as a hair bonnet so that totally depends on you so now let me just put it on and try to like wrap it for you to see right now i'm going to show you how i'm going to tie this though i don't have a mirror i never planned for that I just had to use my small makeup mirror here. I hope it works, but still you get the idea of what I'm trying to talk about. So this goes to the back. I'm just going to place it on my turban. so after doing that so if you want just a reversible bonnet you can see it's nice let me see that yeah so what i'm going to do now is to spread it out so can you see so you try to form a deep v in front so you can move the end back a bit Can you see what I have? Then you now have to place this over it. So 
now I have a bead, then I can pull this to the back. The mirror isn't really working. And this to this noise. So in case you want some of your hair covered, because I always cover, I like covering my hair. So you have it like that. I'm just trying so hard with the mirror. So you can adjust this too. See, then I can bring it forward. Then you can just look for somewhere to tuck this in, or if you don't want that, you can just place it over it. Make sure it's not covering the deep V. Just talk it somewhere. Eventually, got a space here. Okay, that's good. So then, just pull it backward. I just really hope it comes out nice because my makeup mirror isn't working at all. So that is it on how to tie your hair up. I just hope it's good. So that is it. At the back, you can see what I have. Can you see that? Also here, so it depends if you have a lot of volume of hair, so it brings out the beauty too. Hope my tutorial on how to make and tie the hair wrap has been helpful. If it has, please give me a giant thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Blakey Signatures, and on Facebook, Sewing Innovation. I have to go. Bye.